Hi all, myself Arjuna, Assistant Professor, PG Department of English, KTCT College of Arts and Science. In this video, I am going to give a brief introduction about the topics which comes under the paper 20th Century Malayalam Literature in English Translation for S3 BA English Language and Literature students. In this paper, I am going to deal with two topics, two modules that is module 3 and module 4. So before going to the modules, a question may arise in your mind that what is the purpose of learning Malayalam literature for English literature students? So this paper actually gives you to introduce the richness of 20th century Malayalam writers and to provide you a basic understanding of 20th century Malayalam writers. Okay. Also, it is going to introduce some of the major Malayalam writers in the 20th century and this paper really help you to analyze and appreciate 20th century Malayalam writing. All right. And English literature students definitely love and appreciate other literary works in other languages too. I think so. So, this is actually giving you a golden opportunity to feel the real our own mother tongue Malayalam literature. So, through this paper, you will be definitely get interested in reading Malayalam literary works too. All right. So, I hope you get the answer for the purpose of this paper. So, I am going to the modules which I have dealing with. So, in the third module, you have two novels. Roots by Malayatu Ramakrishnan, Mist by M.T. Vasudevan Nair. Coming to the novel Roots, it's a Malayalam semi-autobiographical novel written by Malayatu in 1966. It won the Kela Sahiti Academy Award and it is a novel which talks about the value of relations. Also, it arouses our childhood nostalgic memories. Coming to the next novel that is Mist by M.T. Vasudeva Nair. He has beautifully pictured a moving tale of love and longing in mist and this novel is surely give an excellent reading experience to the readers. In this module, you have 10 short stories to study. First one is In the Flood by Tagadi Shivashankara Pilla. As we all know that Tagadi who was a prolific writer and he is the classic example of a writer learning his craft from the book of life. We heard about his famous works like Randi Dangari, Toti De Magan, Shen Min, etc. I hope you guys have a wonderful experience by reading this short story in the flood. Next short story is the World Renowned Knows or Vishwa Vikyadamaya Muk by Vaikam Muhammad Bashir. He is fondly known as the Bepur Sultan. This legend on a remarkable position in Malayalam literature. We also get familiar with his works like Patumai Dada, Madhuligal, Balya Kalasaki, etc. Actually, this short story that is the world renowned knows also is an interesting short story and you will definitely get satisfied by reading this sh short story. What adds beauty to the works of Bashir is the coming together of a novelty in the choice of subjects, a unique style of narration and an unconventional mode of language use and a sharp sense of humor. Moving to the next short story, that is, The Girl Who Spread Light 
by T. Patmanabhan. He is one of the few short story writers in Malayalam who has stayed loyal to the yana of the short story. He has written around uh, 140 stories. The notable among them being Prakasham Paratana Penguti, that is the girl who spread light, Yatra, Gauri, Atma Vinde Muruvukal, etc. Next short story written by Paul Sakaria, that is the last show. Paul Sakaria, he is not only a fictionist, but also a travel writer, a commentator on social and political issues. He responds to the painful realities of the times with bitter sarcasm. His major short story collections include Oridatta, Arkariya, Sakariyuda Kadagal. Coming to the next short story that is Wooden Cradles by Lelidambiga Andajanam. We all are familiar with this strong women writer in our Malayalam literature. She is best known as this, best uh, known for her literary work in Malayalam. She is an Indian author and social reformer. And her notable work is Akmi Sakshi. And next short story by C. Ayyappan, Spectral Speech. C. Ayyappan, he is also one of the famous writers in Malayalam literature. Next is a women writer, Gracie. Her first short story collection is Padirangi Poya Parvadi and her other major works are Naragavadil, Gracie Rekadagal, Randa Sopne Darshikal. You guys have Orota and the Spirits to study in this paper. Next short, short story is In the Moonlit Land by Ashida. She is also one of the notable women writers in Malayalam literature. And coming to the next short story that is the postmodern story of Jodi Vishwanath by Chandramadi. Chandramadi is Chandrika Balan. She is an Indian bilingual writer who has published books in both English and Malayalam under the pen name Chandramadi. Okay. Then coming to the final short story that is The Vein of Memory or Ormaide Narambu by K.R. Meera. She is also an excellent uh, women writer or writer in Malayalam literature and we heard about her famous a novel it's Aracha it's a most popular novel that is it is widely regarded as one of the best literary works and it receives several awards including Kela Sahitya Academy Award, Vailar Award etc. So this is also going to be a good reading experience to all of you and coming to the next module that is module 4 here you guys have a drama by C. N. Srikantan Nayar, that is Kanchana Sita. He is also a Malayalam writer, playwright, and he is probably best known for his uh, what so called Ramayana trilogy, that is Kanchana Sita, Saketam, and Lanka Lakshmi. So, Kanchana Sita captures one of the most intense and dramatic moments of the Ramayana story. Okay, so I am not going to uh, give a full description about the authors or uh, the works. A detailed analysis of all these short stories, novels and drama will be given you through the upcoming videos. So, wishing you all a hopeful semester ahead. And keep steady, stay safe, thank you.